people don't give you contrast you ask for it from them just thought we'd throw that in wait what <laughs> people don't give you the contrast there's no assertion you attract the contrast from them for your purposes by giving your attention to it every question is one you ask no one asserts it into your experience the reason that you didn't understand what we were saying is because you threw it out as a little aside not even understanding that you have a vibrational belief you have a belief that you didn't even know you had the premise of what you were presenting to us is when people do things to me that I have to adjust to that's flawed nobody does anything to you when I attract things that aren't in vibrational alignment with who I really am yeah okay so I want to attract way more things way more of the time that are in vibrational alignment with me and where I want to go you do but you see you do every time you never attract something that you're not in a vibrational alignment oh, with right okay oh right <laughs> and so who needs to do the adjusting you or the other person me okay but then that leads to the next part of it I find myself interacting with a beautiful gorgeous man I'm now seeing the vibrational difference that we're at and I recognize that I if I'm connected to source my inner being at all time I'm always happy right so he's right beautiful practice on staying in alignment even when he's out of alignment I don't know where I'm going with this we know you don't <laughs> <laughs> so let's take this into a real conversation and let's stop talking about concepts and theories and let's just live some of your real life okay why am and I so drawn to him Abraham if I know we're just a mismatch oh I'm glad it's helping okay say it again why am I so drawn to oh I'm afraid of your answer why am I so drawn to him <laughs> if I know it's a mismatch so earlier we said you get what you think about whether you want it or not so is being drawn to something attraction oh. so are you saying why do I want this thing I don't want or why am I drawn to this thing I don't want hear the distinction oh I think it's the second so you say it why am I attracted to him when he's not what I want for husband because you give your attention to that and what you give your attention to is active in your vibration Okay. Well, when you say it, it's so clear. Now we have a question for you. Okay. Why do you give so much attention to something you don't want? Well, what, can my life really be that good? Damn. So we have another question for you. Okay. Why do you not feel worthy of good things coming to you? Oh. I feel a need to defend myself right now. Um. So we have another question. <laughs> okay. Why do you feel defensive? I guess I feel a need to justify why my life can be as good as it is. So that's what we want you to do. We want you to advocate for good things. That's how worthiness comes. But there's a difference between advocating for what you do want and defending against what you don't want. They're two different ends of the stick. I feel like my life mighty. 90 99 percent time is phenomenal it keeps getting better and better and better my business had phenomenal growth my personal life is amazing so so these are good conversations to have yes so I feel bad that I can have nine of the ten areas of my life at like a a plus level so Abraham the other day I went to the cafeteria I don't go there very often but I went to the cafeteria and there was a lot of beautiful food on display and some of it I really like to eat and some of it I don't like to eat at all and I have to tell you I felt so bad about not wanting to eat that stuff <laughs> felt so bad about just wanting to eat the stuff I liked and not wanting to eat the stuff I don't want and I know if I were a more virtuous person that I would see it all as equal and I would eat it all with equal relish but yeah. <laughs> okay I mean yeah right because if I'm connected to source then I should thoroughly enjoy my time with him 100% of the time but yeah I want someone who's happier I want someone who's happier this is a conclusion that I've come to 
took a little bit but now in this moment I know I want someone who's happier and I want to be happier and in my not finding someone who's happier I've been quite unhappy which makes me a perfect vibrational match to him <laughs> all right I, I think I heard that <laughs> because I still like most humans I believe more in action and words than I do in vibration you can defend yourself if you want to no just awareness going off I thought it was the opposite but it is on some subjects that's what you're in the process of cleaning up most people have habitual thoughts and the habitual thoughts keep bringing habitual results and then they say well this and this and this and this and this are going well but this isn't and we say check your thoughts what are your thoughts about that and some things you find more resonance with source when you think them some things you find less resonance with source when you think them and we really really like those experiences where you feel less resonance with source because it makes you want more resonance with source and it causes you to more finely tune your thinking in order to get what you want someone talked a moment ago about willpower and we don't think willpower is a very good idea because it's really working it in a harder way but there is a little bit of confusion I'm not gonna think about that I'm not gonna think about that I'm not gonna think about that I'm not gonna think about well you're thinking about that thing you're not gonna think about so you have to know when to let things go and the moment to let a subject go is when it doesn't feel good because if it doesn't feel good it's not gonna feel better by thinking about it longer that should be a very long bumper sticker <laughs> it's the side of the bus bumper sticker it's a paragraph bumper sticker when you think about something that you don't want it doesn't turn into something that you do want so what is the answer how do you use your logic how do you sort it out how do you get clear on something well you focus upon any of those many other things that are going well and you feel the appreciation and the love and the adoration of source and you notice all the times that you're in the receiving mode and you notice all the things that the universe yields to you and you get into this appreciative feeling of thankfulness where the things that are going well are just resonant in your vibration and you don't focus on the one that isn't working because it's already in the vortex and it is working you're just not letting it work for you because you've got habits of thought that don't let it work for you so you just let it as far as you can not be something that's active in your mind while you continue to let your vibration rise higher and higher and higher and on other subjects and then every now and again the universe will deliver to you at perfect timing when it is known that you are in a receptive mode a thought about the thing that you formerly thought in a negative way about and you'll have a positive realization about it and so it's what we call bridging beliefs I didn't, I didn't hear that last little part so you have all these subjects that you feel good about and you think about them mostly unless you're a human who believes that the one that's bothering you most is the one that needs your most attention so you're over with that so you're not giving your most attention to the thing that's bothering you because you're not giving your attention to it that vibration becomes less and less and less active and therefore less and less a player in your experience and since it's less and less a player in your experience the things that are players in your experience are causing your vibration to rise now your inner being didn't forget about that because that's not just over there it's in your vortex and your inner being knows that you want it and knows what the path of least resistance is to bring you to it and knows when you're most likely to be ready for it so at a time that you're not expecting it which means you won't have any negative vibration going on about it your inner being will introduce to you in some way through other people or through a thought that you receive the idea of that and when you receive it because you're in a better feeling place and your vibration is higher you will focus upon it in the now and you will change the past okay so now the vibration that used to vibrate that way now vibrates in a new way now it's not completely solved but it is vibrating in a new way Are you following us a bit what we're really talking about here is understanding the distinction between step one which is when you ask and you're usually out of whack step two when source answers and you're usually not up to speed with what source is answering and step three when you're letting it in
but most people have this step one stuff that they just hammer about they blog about it they complain about it they talk about it they question about it they try to do processes about it and they keep it active right where it is okay. so switch to step three allow it in be ready to receive all right so we just have a little bit of time left so now ask us this question again well I don't know if I have a question. I think he's a really great guy. He was a match wait, to wait, me for wait, a while. Wait, 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 wait. Breathe a little. Acknowledge that you received quite a bit of what we said just now. And think about the topic at hand. And now, from your new understanding, more important, from your new place of knowing, more important, from your new place of being, now, what did you want to know about that now? Don't regurgitate what you wrote down. What do you want to know now? What do you want to know now about that? What do you want to know now about that? Well, when you keep talking, it switches. <laughs> I want to know how to let them go. But yeah, we I want it to switch know. because we want you to focus on what we are focused upon. What do you right now want to know from us about the subject of this gorgeous guy? What do you want to know now? I more want to know how to get the next guy in. That's even closer to what I... I don't know why hear how different that was yeah so we heard I want to know how to release what isn't good how to let in what is good and how to know the difference yeah damn thank you do you punish yourself unnecessarily on a regular basis I'm pretty yeah I'm pretty hard on myself I should be doing better be fine with where you're at but okay enjoy it for a minute now get to the next step yeah so when you say that things are going really good in spite of all of that that's pretty awesome isn't it that I can keep moving well what we're getting at is you explained to us and we believed you we felt resonance with what you said that much of your life is going really really well and so we were just teasing you a little bit about why you chose to focus on the things that aren't going well to sort of muddy up the waters and we wondered if the self-infliction of unpleasant things is something you like to do on a regular well, basis so it's okay for me to be a vibrational snob. because there's no other reason for doing it it doesn't fix anything you can say well I'm working on this in order to make it better well it doesn't make it better and you say well I work on it but it feels awful and we say we know that it feels awful so our question is why do you inflict discomfort on yourself what's the reason for that this is a serious question and the answer is because I believe that there's no gain without pain and we say that's a flawed premise and if we were standing in your physical shoes we'd get over that one isn't it about feeling the vibrational contrast in five that gives you the clarity to clarify your ask to then move to step three and receive I, you nailed it <laughs> say that again because it made sense but it was wrong <laughs> so say it again isn't it about feeling the vibration so you do an ask you receive you enjoy you do then you feel some vibrational contrast and then you know you want to go into step one again and do a new ask so isn't that vibrational contrast vital and good and well helpful but that really wasn't what you were describing to us here in other words this is sort of your way of justifying in other words we do like it when you trip over the thought and you feel negative emotion again that you understand that you are clarifying it but so many of you are making an art of step one you just keep going back to step one and back to step one and then we've given you a little reason to justify it by saying well you are clarifying and you are clarifying but really friends it's time to clean up your vibration it's time to clean up your vibration it's time to stop making excuses about negative emotion it's time to focus upon the thoughts that feel good period it's time for that because the other stuff just comes to you you don't have to go looking for trouble it will find you by the residual vibration that you've got going on but what you're doing here don't take this the wrong well take it how we mean it you're taking your laziness or sloppy thought about a subject and then you're justifying it by saying but isn't that step five? Oh. I hear it and that's different in other words that's looking for trouble and then defending the trouble by saying well it's part of the process there's a big difference between that and working to clean up your vibration and feeling pretty good and then stumbling over it and realizing oh there is something there when you don't go looking for it and it shows itself to you that's a natural vibration that's coming on the heels of what your vibrational pattern is but when you go looking for it that's an entirely different thing did you hear that distinction mm -hmm.